30 years ago. October 31st. The Earth continues to rotate on its rusty axis, just like every year. Halloween returns to pay us a visit, and the same every year. I ask myself where people find the energy to celebrate. without finding an answer. Let me introduce myself. My name is Tony Tuff, private investigator in the service of this prestigious agency for many years, as well as a third degree holder in the order of wigs. I've been working here out of the limelight for 10 years now. When a critical case was given to me, I have to stop a mysterious swollen headed maniac who robs the noisy hordes of children of their candy and dear me continues to do so. But tonight will be different. After years of exhausting research and humiliating failures, I believe I am just a step away from the truth. All of this goes far beyond the theft of candy from innocent babes. Careful analysis of the profile and reports by the young victims have convinced me that this involves an alien plot to conquer our planet. The candy is just the point of a huge iceberg. Mine is a solitary flight, shoved to the side and misunderstood. But tonight, I will demonstrate to the world that these are not the ravings of a paranoid private detective. I will show the world who Tony Tuff is, and I will stop this intergalactic scoundrel once and for all. Oh yes, this is my dog, Pantagruel. Would you quit chewing on that revolting stuff for a minute? Oh, yeah. 
No, I said we're not going to the fun fair. Not tonight. Now listen, pup, before we set about saving the planet, according to the venerable Archibald Wallace Little Private Eyes Handbook, we really must get ourselves a wig. I quote, a wig is an essential prerequisite for proper investigation of a case. Now, Pantagruel, you take care of the upper floors. I might not be able to concentrate properly with all those people laughing at me. I'll comb the basement. What a good doggy you are! All right, Tony, let's get to work. A good wig is the first step on the road to success. Tremble in your boots, you treacherous aliens. Great idea, as if it were custom made. It's part of a brochure. It's not legible, but I think it has something to do with animals or something like that. Ugh, my poor back. That's out of the question. Halloween comes around only once a year. Why be satisfied with a miserable tacky costume when for just a few hundred dollars you could buy a high-class costume like the illiterate shepherd girl outfit from Karak Inc. The kit includes a cheery country-style outfit in washed wool. The rest has been torn away. It fits perfectly. The Karak Inc. Illiterate Shepherd Girl Kit includes a cheery country-style outfit in washed wool, a bunch of top-quality fake flowers, and a typical Swiss folk scarf. The number of sheep on this brochure is somehow irritating. Tony Top Airlines thanks the passengers for having flown with us. The captain and crew wish everyone a pleasant stay. That's Pantagruel's scream, and it's not yet dinner time. I have to go upstairs. My dog might need some help. I can't imagine another use for it than to walk on it. Pantagruel, where are you? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Great trophy, Butch. I got it while it was running away. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Excuse me, everyone. Hey, Dudley, you remember that group therapy we did to ignore our co workers? Co workers? We have co workers? <laughs> <laughs> You know what's happened to my doggy. You really don't want us to believe that you've given up hunting down aliens and looking for Hitler's hibernated brain, do you? Why did your dog run away? Just like that. Well, the time has come for you to know that what you're looking for and what you stupidly insist on calling a little dog is a fat violet taper. But, 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 but... But And that your fat violet taper was wandering around here a little while ago. But didn't you hear that blood-curdling scream? Well, then it wasn't Charlie sticking his fingers in the electric pencil sharpener again. <laughs> <laughs> you don't happen to know any new jokes. Listen to this, Tough. What's small, ugly, smelly, and lives in the sewers? Ha ha ha!
<laughs> I wouldn't know. Come on, try. I know that you can get it if you really try. They're there. One of those disgusting mutant ninja turtles that live in the sewers. Excuse me, Butch. Yes, Dudley? I'm beginning to believe that your theory about some people belonging entirely to the mineral world is correct. <laughs> See you later, guys. Why? You've been invited to the big Halloween ball at the Wallens Mansion? Well... Well, don't count on it, tough. Blah, blah, blah. 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 Maybe if blah, I picked it up, blah, it would be blah. easier to read. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah. My dear Mr. Top, the fact that you can read this message leads me to believe that those evening courses really do work the miracles they promise. Who knows? Maybe you'll even be able to write in a few months. But let's not rush. Now the important thing is that the total vacuum that you have between your ears lets you understand this. Your stinking beast is in my clutches! If you don't want to get him back in installments, go to Halloween Park tonight! <laughs> Sincerely yours, Jack O.L. I just blah, hope this blah, isn't blah, another one of those advertising blah, gimmicks. Blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, you, kitty, not so fast. You have to pay admission to enter the park. And most important, you have to be wearing a costume. I understand. I'd better leave now. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I'd be better off watching out for that hole. Another fall could be fatal for the beetles I keep in my pocket. It'll be difficult to put it on while it's hanging up there. Well, that doesn't mean I can't do it, but it does mean it would be much easier for me if you just pick it up. What an imagination. If I move my face any closer, I'd risk fainting. I don't have time to do the cleaning tonight. You don't know how deep they are until you step in one. The Perfect Detectives Manual is very clear about the unadvised use of artificial hair. Of course, I suppose I could expose myself to ridicule by putting this costume on, but it's perfectly clear that it hasn't been finished yet. Of course, I suppose I could expose myself to ridicule by putting this costume on, but it's perfectly clear that it hasn't been finished yet. Wow, just like the real ones.
It vomits slime and stinking air on me 24 hours a day. <laughs>